Hi Glitter Groupies, it's Demo Donna here with Sparkle and Sprinkle and for the first Video Kit Club for 2016 we're going to be using this awesome brand new Poppies stamp set by Becky Muir. She came out with adorable, I think we have five new stamp sets this month so check them out and we're going to make in this awesome card with the color pop using the new Nuance watercolors. Enjoy! Alright, for this next part we are going to be using the Red Nuance. The colors are so fun. This is a very dark version and this is on watercolor paper. So if you have watercolor paper at home and you want to do that instead of the cardstock provided in this kit, that is totally fine. So I have a tiny, like three drops of water in there and I'm just going to wet my brush, dip it in and pick up a lot of this powder to make a really dark, vibrant red. So what I have learned with um, doing really dark stamping on watercolor is if you watercolor first and then stamp second. So I'm just going to go and apply my color and then I'm going to stamp once it's dry. And that's when we are going to fussy cut. So I'm just doing a little bit and this is for two purposes. One is for our actual flower and the other is for the border that we made right over here. All right, so I'm gonna do a pretty good amount and then we're gonna let that dry. So it's watercolor, it dries pretty fast, but if you stamp on this while it's still wet, it will smear. So I'm gonna set that aside and I have one already dry for you that I already did. So, um, and it, your paper curls a little bit. This isn't watercolor paper, so it's probably going to curl a little bit, but once we've cut it all out, it'll be fine. So take that single poppy, and you just need to ink the actual flower part. You don't need the whole stem, and you are going to stamp that right on top of the dried watercolor. Isn't that beautiful? And then we are going to fussy cut that out. And I'm going to show you, for instance, here is the sample of the one cut out and stamped on the watercolor laid down first. And this one I stamped and then watercolored it. So see how it starts to mess with the actual ink. It doesn't look as dark. So that's why you want to do this technique. Lay your watercolor down first, then stamp it. All right, so once I have this completed, you can go ahead and assemble it to your stamped out circle. And I'm just going to use a little pop dot. Stick that on the back, peel the backing off, and you're good to go there. And then I'm going to adhere this to my circle backing that we did with the Gypsy Red Glitter. So I've got a little terrific tape, and then just stick that there. And then we're going to pull over this card and grab some more terrific tape. Stick that on your backing. And then I am just going to lay this over so it matches with the leaves. It doesn't have to all be perfect. Remember we stamped it out a couple times and lay that down there. So now you have your popped up part and then we're going to make this border and our splatter on the bottom which is really fun, really easy. So. Just like with you stamped here, what I did is I cut a half an inch. This is what happens to your paper if it's not dry all the way. So make sure your paper is dry before you go ahead and cut it. So I went ahead and cut a strip and then I did that two inch terrific tape again. Peel the backing off. Sorry, I said two inch, I meant quarter inch. So I just laid a quarter inch of my terrific tape on a half inch strip of the paper that I watercolored. So I'm going to use my finger tool, apply my red glitter, take your dry glitter brush, and the microfine is so pretty. Just burnish that in, and now I am going to attach that to my card. And I went ahead and actually applied three-quarter inch tape to the back before I cut it. A little trick so my adhesive is the full length completely covering that cardstock. And then I'm going to lay that down. So that acts, a, as, acts as a ribbon. Lay that down there. And it's nice because it pulls both the, the glitter color as well as the watercolor in 
So it really ties it together. All right, so for that really fun splatter technique that we did at the bottom of the card here, all you have to do is mask your paper. So I'm just gonna cover it up with another scrap piece of paper. And then I am going to take my paintbrush and I am going to use this guy here and just get it wet and then just go ahead and splatter. A really fun technique. The bigger the brush, the bigger the splatters. So this is a very small fine tip brush so it does a really small little splattery look. And you can do less is more. I went a little heavy there. I'm a little obsessed with red. Pop that guy off and now you can simply take your Sane. Um, I picked Best Wishes, but you can use all of these. They're all really beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna stamp it into my Memento ink. Slap my Sane on there. Voila. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is, the first thing we did was take the glitter twine that I made, and just to make a simple little ribbon, I'm gonna grab a little piece of terrific tape, take your ribbon, and I'm just gonna fold it over. So for those of us that are not masters at making bows, I'm just folding this over a couple times. So I went two times on each side and then I'm just gonna trim my edge like that. And now I'm gonna take another piece of terrific tape, the quarter inch, and just tape it together in the center. Peel my backing off and just keep taping it up. And then I've got my glitter twine all put together, my nice little bow. I'm gonna stick it in the center there, push it down really well with my fingernail tool. And now you've got that exposed adhesive. Just go ahead and take a little bit more of your micro fine glitter Tap that on, I rubbed it in a little bit. Give that a good flick, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to a great year at Sparkle and Sprinkle with our video kit clubs. If you'd like more information, you can contact our store. Have a fantastic new year, everybody. Thank you. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna show you once again, we did this in last month's video technique club and how to do the uh, glitter twine. So I'm gonna take a quarter inch ribbon, quarter inch ribbon, terrific tape, and just twist, peel the backing off and twist. And I did a smaller piece here just to show you quickly how this is done, just like that. And then you're just gonna go ahead and dip it into, I'm using the red gypsy, gypsy red, micro fine which is so pretty i absolutely love it so burnish it in once you've dipped it into your glitter burnish it in by just rubbing it twisting it at the same time to make sure it's nice and adhered and then you've got a cool little piece of glitter twine um, i made a larger one for this card so about 12 inches i'd say and the uh, quarter inch terrific tape does not come with this set so if you don't have it yet, you can go ahead and add it to your order. So next I'm gonna take, there's two circles. One is for stamping, and one is going to be the glitter background here. So this is our sticker paper, and it's a crack and peel. And I'm just gonna peel that backing off, and then I am just gonna go all around my edges and burnish it in. And you don't have to do the whole thing because we're just going to see maybe an eighth of an inch of this circle around the whole border. So you really don't have to, you can leave some of that adhesive exposed and you can actually use that to adhere your card as well as some additional adhesive because you want it to stay. So once you give that a good burnish all around, I'm gonna set that aside, tap that off a little bit, and then just set this aside for when we are layering our card. Burnish, 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 and presto. All right, so that, is that for now and now I'm going to take my card base and we are going to start stamping so from this stamp set you have a beautiful stamp with a bunch of the poppy flowers on it and I'm going to take my memento ink and I'm just going to stamp it in there you can also use stays on just going to get that nice and inked up 
And then I am going to do my stamp a little bit above center. And I'm going to stamp it in the middle there. So it's a little above center, maybe about two inches up on the card. And then I'm going to take that same stamp and I'm going to stamp it out on both sides. So I'm going to stamp and I'm going to let it overlap a little bit. So don't be concerned about it overlapping. It's really not going to show up. And I actually like the outcome better. It's more like fields of flowers. So now this is that strip across. So like I said, it's about an inch and a half up, two inches. And then I've got my row of flowers. So now I'm going to set that aside. And then we're going to work on our little circle here, which is going to be that color pop with our one large poppy. Oh, let me do this first. So good when you know what you're doing, right? Yeah, come on now, demo. Okay, stamp my bunch of poppies and I'm going to do one more and I'm going to center it. So because I'm using the clear block, I can see that my circle outline is here. So I've stamped my poppies there. And then this is what I'm going to be making pop. This guy here is where I'm going to be adhering the larger flower. So I'm now going to set these guys aside.